Okay, before I go to the pocket letter, the pocket letter is really the last, last thing I like to do. Um, first I go to the cover. Which images I like to use, and I like to use this word, believe. Because I am always, I love fairy tales, I am. I love fantasy movies, I love fantasy books to read. Um, I love everything what's nearly not possible. <laughs> so yeah, uh, do I live in, in a dream world? Yes, I am. I totally am in that fantasy thing and I just love it. I love fairies, I love dwarfs, I love monsters, I love everything. So yeah, that's why I choose this word belief because I think in this world it's necessary that you have a little imagination, have a little fantasy, live in a dream that's perhaps not possible, or is it? I always like to walk in a forest and I always think, no, I do not always think, I would love to imagine, I am and imagine. <laughs> what if there are fairies? What if there are little dwarfs or little things that in this world? So yeah, I, I always like that. So. I always dream, I always fantasize, and I always make my brain go crazy. <laughs> That's just what I love. Okay, um, living in a dream, because this world is hard enough already. Um, so yeah, that is what I just want to tell you. Um, Alright, so I am going to use this word, believe, because I just told you. And what if I, I absolutely love this image and it's hard to search how it's all going to be, but I am trying. So what if, and you can leave it, you only, yeah, you can make just one word, something like this or nothing on it. It's totally up to you, but I am going a little crazy. And I'm just going to add some images because I am not able to, I'm not able, I'm not capable of um, adding thick flowers and I don't like to add small flowers because I think this is already busy enough. So that's why I want this to have a nice front not with any embellishments at all just keep it quiet like i said the papers are pretty busy and the images are just super tastic <laughs> not fantastic they are super tastic and that is why i want to keep this as quiet as possible so i'm start at the top right there and now i'm gonna add my Fragile word, believe, and this is the part where I can't say that enough that I absolutely love the arc little glue with the fine metal nose. 
it's so tiny so I am able able capable capable gosh anyway I can add glue on this fragile world and this just fit right here this is nice and uh, you can bend it till it's on the right position Yay. cool I like that and if you like you can even put some glossy accents afterwards I don't I just keep it keep it plain all right so that is for now what's on it what do you think I definitely like this image I do I do, I do, I do, and I'm gonna use it. Here we go. And I think I'm gonna equalize it with this word a bit. Not too high, not too low, just a little beside that word. They are more like just pictures. You can even put a nice dot right here and assume that these are paintings at a wall. That's also nice to add because they are. Especially when you frame these a bit. Let's see. Is this enough? Hmm. It should be. <laughs> but I always like to see if I want adding more now keep in mind that you are that this is movable so you don't want to go too far in the way push your glue good so it won't come off when you are using this okay but I do like a few little pieces what do you think um, I don't want to add too much but you know me I like to add some pieces oh, this is too big I do like these small ones these are absolutely stunning not too much I like it <laughs> I especially want the world surrounded with nice images so that is why I'm just searching now this is in oh yeah this is inspiration this is the world also that's also nice Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do you think? I am looking in my camera and yeah, actually I do like this owl. On here to fill this gap right here. Yeah, and then this needs to here. Oh yes. Give it a go. Give it a go. And if you don't like this, then just add what you like. Which images do you like to use? And then just use them. I like, actually, I do want something here. But, 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 I do like it that direction. Ooh, what do you think about this mushroom? I like it. Oh, and there is one here at the bottom. Use it. Here we go. Cut it off with that nice brown edges. Now, I can choose, but I see that I have all done my images at the front with brown so I think I'm gonna do that 
do that again. So the front have all these brown edges. Let's see, a nice little black piece. Here we go, cut it off, out. Yes, okay, now, yep, I like that. Then it's surrounded with beautiful fairy tale images and I love that. Now I still can add, if you like, a nice piece like there are little um, paintings. I don't know if I like to do that but it could be. It could be nice. Hmm. What do you think? I like how this turns out. And I want to keep this plain. I don't want to interrupt anything with this elastic. And the shoe is speaks for itself. So yeah, I am going to stop adding. Uh, do we want something on the side? Mm, no, I don't think so. You can if you like. You always can add a little piece. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. But I always can do that. I always can do that. So, okay, now I go to the, the pocket ladder. <laughs> right. Oh, goody, goody, goody. So let's start. And um, how I like to um, fill in a pocket ladder. Well, I do like to add some images. Now I have a big one right here, so I want to leave a big one on the other side. Um, I do have this image still, so I like to use it on front here. This is a large tag, so we can use it on another page, because this is too long, of course. Um, and okay, we have an aisle on the back, so we want an owl on the front. And then I want this on the back. <laughs> we have a big image right here, so I want a big image on the back too. Um, let's use a stamp right here, and then put another one right there. And yeah, then we have some small images. I do have a bigger one. Let's put it right here because I have two big ones on the front. And yeah, this we still can use on one page. Yeah, so that is how I am going to mix it up. And I'm now just going to start. So let's start with this little piece right here. Let's grab it out. Ten minutes later. <laughs> So I'm going to start with this one, leave this aside, and I'm just covering it up, so just how I like it. So we have a brown one in the corner, and you can mix it all up, whatever paper you have, whatever, whatever, mix it up. I'm going to just start. And I'm not going to do all of these together with you. It's just a matter of filling up and see what you have in your stash and just use it. So I'm going to fill up first this strip at the bottom and top. Just use your stuff. And now this is going to be not filled with the image. So perhaps it's nice to fill this up with um, just paper. Mm. 
this should be fitting. white or brown but if it's not possible then it's not possible but I'm doing the best I can to make this um, pocket ladder the best I can because yeah I did mess up with my papers just a bit but you don't have that problem so that's good so yeah we still can add a nice thing on on the front right here and I'm not doing the back just yet so I'm just put this on top now we just grabbing the next one and now I like to use these two images so let's keep it simple well not simple but at least Quiet, let's keep it quiet. this morning <laughs> while I was um, completely over my <laughs> comfort zone yeah I messed up this a little so I'm just going to cheat a little so you see that I do cheat sometimes but hey there we go um, but um, yeah like I told you this morning I was totally out of um, I call that I was off <laughs> I really was I think I'm still gonna use a little brown just to give it just a little quiet with those images I don't want to make this too busy with these cute little images okay um, so yeah I am a little more happy right now because it is going to be working I forgot to cut this down I don't know it's not particularly good day for me but doing the best I can I am doing the best I can so you see you can make these little pieces as perfect as you can see how easy that is um, that's just a trick oh I told you my trick <laughs> now you know I like to share everything with you exactly how I like to do it so that is also these tricks to make a page perfect cool yep that is what I like All right. And if you do have some word stickers, then just use these because these are amazing. I'm going to use now in this kit, I do not add some word stickers just because there is already so much in it. Um, some blue but yeah this is again mm, I can use this for the bigger ones oh I, yeah perfect perfect shape let's cut this in half 
So, um, yeah. I was just downstairs just a minute ago to cut all the believe words out. And I'm so happy with that machine. That is so awesome to use. But still, it needs time, but I love it. Cool, 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 cool. This is just my comfort zone. Using all the little scraps. Yes, I like that. Um, okay, I'm just going to see what I already have. The shoes and that. So I want some flowers in it. Which flowers do I have? I do not have that much left, but let's see. This is not fitting perfectly. <laughs> she will choose. This will do it too. What is in here? Oh, we have a perfect piece right here. Use it. You oh perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Use it. Use it. Use whatever you have. It's a little itchy. But the worst part is still yet to come. The editing. Oh, good lord. Especially with this one that I mixed, that I messed up. Okay, but I'm going to do the best I can. Yep, nothing more. It's good. Good, 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 good. Alright, so let's go up the next one. Here I want this beautiful piece. And I want to keep it down, so why not use a brown strip? Let's see what I have. These are all too small. Doesn't matter. Hmm. I do not have any, or shall I use a white one? Oh yeah, that's your word. I'm gonna do a white one. I don't want to cut a completely brown piece. Because I do not know if you have so much brown left on it. Absolutely have no clue at this point, so I'm doing the best I can and then just adding this piece. And normally I love to add um, some flowers in here and some things like that, but Oh, it does not fit. Oh my gosh. And I have to admit, also, these papers are expensive like hell. They are. They are. So I can't put so much in it. Alright, let's see. Now I do like some flowers. I do still have something here. Um... Perhaps I want a complete image. Let's make a complete image. Let's go crazy. Mm -hmm. And of course the meaning is of these little pieces that you person who gets this put a nice um, picture on of course that is the meaning but if you like these images as they are then it's totally up to you to leave it like that mm, I still have some ribbons left Mm 
What do you say? You can use ribbons, but yeah, 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 yeah. I hate options. There are too much options. Let's just use this one. Oh, too cute, too cute, too cute. Too much nice images. Which color? Yeah, la la la. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, this one is nice too. Oh, I still have these uh, <laughs> clear ones. Oh, I wish. These will fit in. Let's see, this one is too short. Uh, 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 uh. I wish, I wish I had one of those more. But I didn't. I do not have that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm very sorry, I don't have these. Okay. Yes, what shall we use then? Oh yeah, uh, how can I film as much as I do? <laughs> Just keep them rolling. Hmm. I don't know which I'm, I'm just going to use ribbon. Yes, I'm just going to do that. Oh yes, why not? Why not? Okay, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to cut the same pieces. Okay, I'm going to burn a little bit. For this, you don't have to use tape. You can glue. You can glue these down too. Gives it way a good contrast. Cool. And I'm just going to continue. Yeah, you get the picture. Shall I stop filming? Yeah, I do. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be way too long, and I'm gonna show you at the end how all these ATC cards are looking like. Okay. <laughs> I always love these and I can't tell you more and more and more how much I love these pocket letters. That's all, yeah, it's a great way to use all your scraps and ribbons and it's so awesome. That's cool. I think this one just needs just a little extra. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I should have stopped this doing this, but I think it needs just a little extra. Never be satisfied when you aren't. Always continuing till you are completely satisfied. Yay! And now I am. Just a finishing touch. That is cool. Alright, so a little quick. Um, yeah, some background strips up and down. Same here with these images. This is just 
um, blue and some design paper. This image, this is some ribbon. Same here, but here I put some lace under. Uh, this is just the scraps uh, on the background and just a little frame picture on the front. Here, some uh, design paper on the bottom and the top, then some brown underneath and then I just cut out that piece. And then on the back, pretty much the same. This is just a frame all the way around. Um, brown on the background and yeah, another image on the back, on the front. Um, this I started with this piece of design paper and then I uh, made up my mind that I like to add some blue corners. This is just a, a cover up with design paper. Here I use that lace again underneath a small piece of paper, picture on the top. Uh, some ribbon uh, down and up and then some brown on the back, some stitches and a nice picture. This is just design paper here. I use some leftover pieces and then from top to bottom give it a little playful picture on here. This is actually a little pocket where I put just a little mini tiny tag in here and then I did cut out some squares on a piece of paper and glue them on and then cut the right position where this fits and then it's done and, and here I made a little extra booklet which I saw that I did not do just that. Alright, so now it's time, it's time to see how they all fit in the folio. Okay, so I start at the bottom and I am going to glue my waterfall in here. And you can use double sided tape or whatever glue you like. It's just paper on paper so yeah, and it not, it's, it's not going anywhere, so I'm just going to use my clear glue from the Action. It's, no, it's, it's a good glue, but it's not an expensive one. And I'm just going to, just be, to be safe, on the edges, I'm going to use my Arc Glitter Glue, just in case. You never know. And it's not that the clear glue is not good for that, but you never know. Alright, so I'm just going to add this and I want to move a bit till I am on the right position. Stay away from that edge. Yes, I am good. All the way. Nice black edge. Cool. Okay. Now I'm just going to push that all in on the white spot and I'm going to wait till it's dry a bit more uh, before I add the next one. Now you can use double sided tape, whatever you're please using, just make sure it will stay. And now I'm just going to flip these open and go to this piece right here use it all make sure that everything every little piece is attached good to the bottom of the base okay i think we're done especially on the sides because there are brats we want this to be good. Cool. Alright, up to the next one. Hmm, okay, the next one. I do like some tape for this pocket leather plastic. I don't want this to come loose. I am going to add some double sided tape just to keep it a little more secure on this side. I want to play it safe. There we go. And then for the rest, it's the same. Just adding 
glue all the way around. <laughs> okay, so I use three different uh, attachments. Oh no, that's no problem, no problem at all. We want our pages to be good. Okay, now let's see where do I want this one? I need a little wiggle, so I'm just going to unfold it, and it still can because we have used some clear glue, and that makes it possible. Yay! Alright, flip it open, and do the same thing all the way around. frame I hope I am here we go take your time for this please it's it matters it does you want this to be good in your folio especially on the edges you don't want this to come loose all right that's that go to the oh this this page is already oh, pretty thick <laughs> no we, we have the space right now then we go to ta -ta -da -da, which which one where is it oh yeah we have these two right beside each other Let's say big pocket, and then this is the closure. What do we want? Um, here is something big in here, and this is the closure. So I think this order will do good. All right, so let's add again some glue, and I'm just here with you. I'm not going anywhere. I actually should have taken a lunch. It's time. It's time to get lunch, Diane. Yeah, I don't want to finish this. <laughs> oh gosh. I bet you have the same thing. If you are starting something and it finally goes nice, then you want to continuing, continuing, continuing. But yeah. Here we go. I'm starting on the left side to see where I want it. And then I check on this page. Oh yeah, I have enough space. Plenty space. And even move this a little to this side but here it is okay again just unfold this it's easier and just move along and peace I'm getting happier and happier each minute when this folio is coming to an end <laughs> Well, it's a good lesson for me too that with a folio you can't do that thick pages I normally like to do so it's a big lesson for me but I think 
we managed it good. I think we do. Okay, and this closes down. Where was my closure? Oh, here was my closure. Yep. Here was the closure that needs to go in here. There we go. Yep. Cool. So yeah. Take a note if every corner is nicely attached, then it's good. Alright, so let's go to this piece. Perhaps you don't want to see me doing this, but perhaps you do. I don't know. Do you? Do you like to see me doing this? And keep watching. <laughs> I'm just keeping brabbling with you guys. So, anyway, what do you think till so far? Well, it's almost done, but I hope you liked it a bit. <laughs> Oh gosh, I am terrified to go edit the edit this this complete tutorial is no not a complete disaster but yeah perhaps you are used to having a battle tutorial for me but yeah it's just like I told you way in the beginning that I started this it's going to be go with the flow and sometimes I make two projects a first a tryout and then another one special with a kit but i just don't have the time right now for to do that i have so much going on and i have so much materials for other kits and well I can't blame me there was so much nice stuff going on lately um, but I want to do that, and I want to do this, and I want to, I want to have it. I want to have it all. <laughs> I know, and I know I can't, but yeah, you know me, I just like it. I like everything. And when I like everything, I want to share with you. So that is my problem. <laughs> Anyway, and it, 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 is, it is after the holidays, and so yeah, I need to get back in track, but yeah. For now, I am not accept any new things for now. Okay, so here we have a nice big booklet in here. I will get focused first on my own things. Um, well, I do have one left let me put this no i'm not i'm not i'm not going to do that because i do have some space in that other that other pocket okay oh we still have to make something in here but this does not fit oh no this is the same image yeah. okay well, you get, I'm going to see if I can make another card with it to add in here. I will see about that. That needs something in here. Ooh, totally forgot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now I have two big cards because this is going out of here. Now, which one do I like to add in here? Um... This one with the small pockets, or this one. I think I'm gonna add this big boot in here. So you can send it to someone. And then this I can't add, it's too thick. So I'm gonna add this big one in here. Yes, I think it was supposed to be right there. And um, here we have that big pocket, and here we can add, I think, two, I hope, two big booklets, but no, no, that's too much. Which one, which one do I want in here? I think I want this one in here. That's too much. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be too thick. Oh, yeah, and keep noticing that. Yeah, I know. It's hard for me. <laughs> okay, so that is 
done. And now we'll go to the top. The last piece. The last but not least. Um, yeah, I'm just going to add some glue too. The most beautiful, the most important thing when you do this is that you're having fun. And I can tell you that I having I really have fun with these papers. Uh, even they are not that easy uh, in my eyes, but yeah, I'm pretty glad that I ordered some extra plain pages with it. Otherwise, I think. They are pretty hard to use, but I absolutely love these images. So if you are a fantasy person or fairy person or goofy person, then I absolutely think that these collections are for you. They are, they are amazing. I just love them. Okay, let's squeeze those glue. Squeeze that glue everywhere, especially on the corners. Don't forget the corners. And I'm just going to open this up and I am going to burnish it down. Every spot. But if you mix the papers, then it all matches so nice to, to each other. So that's why I like it. And I like these plain papers too. Okay, so now we have make this big pocket and we still can add the pieces in here that, that are not fitting or I can add a leftover, <laughs> this is the only leftover I have besides my little basket with little, little things, but that's, that's it, that's it, what, that's all what I have. So let's add this in here. Alright, so that's cool. Cool. Yes, I like this. Pretty heavy. Now don't forget the corners. You need to make sure that these corners are good glued together. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some lunch. And I'm going to close this all up. Just like this, and it's still just fitting. <laughs> no, this fits way better, leaving two pages out. This is good. Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, so I'm letting this nicely dry. I'm having some lunch right now, and then I will see if I need to add something more. Like I just saw, uh, I need to make a little tag gonna see if I have some for that but first I'm having some lunch okay <laughs> my stomach is uh, crawling to me <laughs> not crawling um, howling yeah something like that <laughs> till next minute hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Crab Queen and today I like to show you my latest project and the project I is a folio I made a folio and the size is an 8 by 11 inches and the spine is 1 1 fourth inch and all the way around you see a spine with covered up with black leather look book binders linen which provided pretty um, and secure. Okay so which papers did I use? I used a Spanish brand called and I hope I pronounce it good LL Tilo de los Duendes and 
sorry if I did not pronounce that good, but it's Spanish and my Spanish is not good. <laughs> and um, the collection is called Inspiration, so Inspiration in, in Spanish. And um, I absolutely love this collection. It, it's so dreamy and and with, with fairy tales and yeah i love the images i love the colors i love all the things that in it and that is why i choose it and i hope you like it too but let me first show you what i made of it so let's open this up and of course at the front i used lots of nice images already and i cut out the word believe because that's the word i believe it will fit to all this magic so let oh let me open this up for you guys so the inside i kept it plain because it's already thick and um then we have this closure and so you can add a nice um, you can write something down here or you can put a nice two four uh, images on here but it closes all down so nothing will fall out if you're going to move it away when you open this up now this is not easy to be shown but i created just a simple pocket on top here and one down here too just a simple pocket where you can add something in here now i'm gonna move this to the bottom so it's easy to show you okay so let's Grab, not grab. <laughs> Let me show you the first page. <laughs> okay, so now the first page has two window um, frames, and you can pull out a nice tag. And this is a booklet tag photomat. You can add your nice photos in here. And I, yeah, I did it again. I used all inches, all centimeters. Of all my papers and then here is another one of course another one so you can add your photo on the top of this or if you don't want to cover this up you can put your photo inside then this goes back in here let me open this up yep there we go and then here we have a magnetic closure so this one goes on the left piece and then this goes to the right and i just covered up here and there some white um, photo mat so you can add your photo on it but some pieces are also tuck spots let me see if i have yeah let me use this one to show you that there is a tuck spot right here and this one too you can slide your photo underneath or you can put something in there um, then we have this big expandable um, because yeah it's i made it a, a kind of an accordion frame so it's a big pocket where you can add your leftover pieces or cards or photos you can put anything in it and then this closes all down Alright, so let's go to the next page. I'm gonna flip this first to the right. Then we have this page, and this page, um, well, this is the closure. So I'm going to pull out this booklet, this photo mat frame book card, whatever you're going to name it. And so this will, this is the closure, and then this flips to the left where we have lots and lots of space and tuck spots oh this is already loose um i put this already under there a nice goofy man i really love the images they are so nice so goofy i i, I call it the goofy man <laughs> and then this goes to the right and also some tuck spots here and there this is also a tuck spot and you can slide your photos in I did not glue this all down so you still can add your photo behind it then this goes open like this well you can also do it like this and uh, here you also have some images for um, some photo mats where you can put your photos in I decorate this with uh, the leftover ribbon from the cover 
And then here we have just a big pocket where uh, is another booklet uh, where you can slide also something behind here. And then the inside I kept it plain because it was already getting thicker and thicker. All right, so this closes down like this. And then this is the closure. But it does not need, but I just like how it turns out. Especially when the goofy man <laughs> is watching in between here. All right, so let's go to this page. And this page has also a closure. And it's the same closure as I use in my Cosmos album. Uh, but then in uh, this shape, the card shape. So you can slide this out of there and then this has a pocket on top. Nice little tag in here, a photo mat right here, then this flips up and down. And the up and down page has just a nice white photo frame where you can add a nice photo on. And then we have a big pocket where I added a nice bronze butterfly, a nice image, put some decoration on, use some ribbon. And the inside I kept it plain for those who want to add their pictures on. Then on the bottom there is a big tag, a big pocket with a big tag, but I did not only decorate. I made a few tuck spots here and there and on the back also some tuck spots where you can add something. So you still can add your photo, you can leave this anywhere you like, but I just put it right here. And then here is just a little bookmark, a large piece that fits in here. All right, so let's pull this back in here and then close it down with this. This is the easiest way for me to put it back in like that. That's the closure, but it moves, it moves all the way around. All right, so let's go to the next page. So first of all, I'm going to have to close this first. Then I'm going to move this up. And then I go to this page right here. Okay, so let me first dig into this page. I use a pocket letter. I love pocket letters because it's the, it's the super way of uh, using all your little scraps and pieces and make it still fun. So yeah, it, 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 sorry for the bling with the, with the lights, but I use some lace uh, underneath this image and some strips, leftover pieces, uh, the last pictures I used. Here you can add a nice picture on, same as here of course. Here you use some images, the last ribbon, nice image here. Use your scraps to make a nice background. Yeah, it's just so easy. And then this continuing at the back. Also, yeah, make some corners to make it a little funky. Use some um, stripes to give your plain papers a little more, um, yeah, yeah, a little more funky in it. And here also some uh, leftover pieces and some squares, whatever. Every piece you can use and make it nice. And then we have this page, the bottom page right here. And here I just kept this plain so you can add your photo in here. But I kept it just a little talk spot here and there. And then this is just a little belly band, a little pocket where I added a nice little booklet. And then this I decorated only with paper. You still can add a nice little picture on here. And I could not resist already to put some goofy man on here. So it pops up. I like that. And then the last page is a waterfall page. And it's a waterfall with lots of activity. And yeah, you know me, I like activities and... Okay, so the first one has a pocket on top with a nice tag on. Then this flips up and I did not decorate the back. I kept it plain. Then the next one is just plain, decorated with some um, design paper. Then in here we have a photo mat 
with a ribbon pull out then the back is plain then I have made a large uh, belly band or pocket but it's actually a belly band um, so you can add something in here with a pocket with a photo mat inside back is plain here I yeah I just used some uh, twine to make it also as a nice pocket gives it just a little extra funk in it and in here there's also a pocket with a photo mat and then we have again a pocket just a nice simple tag in here and then the back is plain and then we have just a simple waterfall as we all normally want but I could not resist just making a little tuck spot under here and the back is plain and this is just a simple photo mat with some doodling all the way around that is that all right so yeah it's pretty heavy already and i absolutely love how it turns out and i have to say something about it <laughs> um if you are going to follow my tutorial it's going to be a totally me tutorial um it's going to be a follow along tutorial i did not plan anything so i was go with the flow i just started i did not do a tryout and um the only thing is um i made at first two extra pages in it but it gets too fat i am normally an album maker so i go on and on and on with pages and um i'm not realizing that this needs to be closed totally <laughs> so it does not fit that nice it does fit but you will see that in the tutorials but if the people who's getting this um, adding their pictures on then it won't fit anymore so I don't like that so I skipped not skipped yeah I skipped I skipped two pages uh, but I kept that in a tutorial so you still can choose so if you are following the tutorial you will see that I was making two, four, five, seven pages. I made seven pages, but I ended up with five in here. So you still can choose. So if you see the tutorial and you do the, you do the pages, if you are making all the pages, then you are having enough because I did not uh, grab any more papers than there is in the kit. But you can choose. So I skipped these two. I skipped. I skipped these two pages. This one I kept it out. I'll leave it out uh, with a big pocket and a pocket right here and a little pocket on the front and this page. So these two pages I left out. But perhaps you like these two pages more than another page in here. So you can choose. You still can choose what you are going to put in here so I made seven pages but it only fits five okay so that pay attention on it I did the best I can with editing um, to cut some pieces or here and there but I did my best but I'm terrible at that I'm not a professional I did the best I can uh, but be aware there are only fitting five pages in not seven okay um, yeah, but for the rest, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. And um, yeah, I absolutely love how the end results are. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I, at least I did. I absolutely loved every minute spending time with these gorgeous papers. And I'm going to tell you what's in the kit in just a second what's in the kit well of course the papers are in the kit and uh, i have to say i absolutely love the papers but they were for me a, a bit too uh, expensive but i just had to buy it buy it for you um, because i want to show how beautiful they are and uh, yeah because it's Spanish perhaps it's not completely all over the world available so I had to buy it to buy it for you so but what's in the kit um, in the kit there are 16 
pages, 16 sheets. So we have 12 design papers with all these images from the collection Inspiration. And I added four extra sheets with some plain uh, backgrounds. So we have a green one, a blue one, and I believe a lilac and a yeah pinkish one. So there are four extra, so 16, 16, 12 by 12 sheets. Then you get the chipboard. You get all the, the ribbons you saw what is what I used in this, the, the, the lace, uh, I believe three colors of this one. You get the twine. You get, the, of course, the elastic. You get this brad. You get the bronze um, butterflies. You get some bows. What else? Yeah, the brads, the brads that are in here. Everything. Actually, you get everything what you saw. Even the clear sheet, the clear sheet, the pocket ladder is in here. Everything. Everything is in here. And I'm going to tell you what's not in here. What is not in here is the, the black pages I used. The white pages I used and the brown pages I used. The brown. So that is cardstock. And if I going to include cardstock as well, then the packages will be too too much for me. Um, too much to send and too much. It it's it's already for me very much <laughs> to include already. But anyway, oh, and of course the word belief is in it. And uh, I think I said it all. What's what's all in it? All the ribbons. Yep. The papers. The bookbind of linen. The chipboard. Everything. Pocket leather. The clear sheet. Yes, 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 yes. Everything is in it. If you buy the kit, there was also a little welcome uh, note. And there are written, uh, I have written the few measurements that I wrote down during the tutorials. But there's no need. It's just a welcome note. Uh, nothing, any, because the, the tutorials are free. So the, the measurements are free. So you don't have to, if you don't want to buy the kit, you don't have to get that note. It's just a welcome note for the kit buyers. And um, yeah, I hope my brabbling is not too too much but yeah I just want to explain some some things how I work and how I want to make some kits for you guys so you can make this exactly the same as I did that is all the meaning that I started to make some kits for you um, so you can make it easy to yourself so you will have it all Alright, so I hope you liked it. <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up if you like uh, my new project, the Folio Belief. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and if you aren't already a subscriber, then please subscribe to my channel and you will get a note whenever I have a new tutorial online or a new project or something new to show you so every monday wednesday and friday at six o'clock i will put a new part online or a new project or any new video so these three days are always um, available for you guys at six o'clock so i am there so i see you then bye bye i'm just going to, i had i had to grab a kit just real quick, just to show you real quick what's, what's in it. I have a little thank you uh, in the kit. I did not use it, but it's just a little thank you. I have the word believe. I have a little basket with all the elements that is beneath it. I see also white and I did not use it, but you can use that. Um, that's all in it, all it's in. You have a little basket, a little bag with all the ribbons and the elastic. Okay, you have a welcome note from me, and you have, and this I will keep that, you will have the clear sheet, you have the pocket letter, 
you have the book binders letter, you have the chipboard, and they come in two pieces. One is folded, so the one, the first fold line is already in it. And then you have two other pieces, and it's all been going to be told what and how it all works. And you have these papers, and I'm just going to real quick go through real quick from the L L L Altilo de los Duendes inspiration real quick. I just want to show you. So you have all these papers. So two of these, and this is the back. Look at this, amazing. And then this one, and this is the back. Oh, so amazing, I still love these. Then we have this one, I absolutely adore the shoes. And then this is the back. And then we have this one, and it keeps going and going and going. And then this is the back, oh, cool. And then we have this one, cool, I love this image. And then this is the back, all the shoes are in here, all right. And then we have the last image, image sheet, and then this is the back. This is my favorite ones with all the little stamps, absolutely gorgeous. And then I added four sheets that are perfect workable with all these uh, beautiful designs. And of course they are also from El Altil de los Duendes. And these are the Aromas del Bosque. And I have four, but they have on the back too some nice designs. I did not use it because I wanted to use these, but the back are also pretty gorgeous. So if you like these two, then use it. Use your imagination and use what you like. Okay, so that is just what I wanted to show you real quick. And I hope you liked it. So send me an email if you like to buy a kit for me. Please do, they are going fast and limited edition. I do not have that much. So yeah, send me a message through Facebook, email, whatever, search. All the links are below this video uh, to find me. So send me a message. Don't be late. Bye bye.